Hello everyone, VegasVic1965 and welcome to my What If series. Over the next several weeks, I'll be doing some videos on What If and that is uh, right now the Mesa. So the, the Mesa doesn't have a village, but if it did have one, what would the village look like? And what I have done in this series or what I'll be doing is going over all the different professions, the profession buildings for each and every villager, as well as a number of the houses that uh, What If there was a village in a mesa so i hope you enjoy these this series of videos and without further ado let's find out this week we're going to take a look at the large house we've done the medium house already we still have the small house to do but we're going to do the large house today or this week for this week's video. This is what it looks like. And in a moment, we'll take a look and see what materials we're going to need to build this. The materials we need for the large Mesa house, uh, 45 cobblestone, one cobblestone stair, 38 orange terracotta, 61 dark oak planks, four yellow glazed terracotta, 45 cut red sandstone, Fifth, actually, we're going to need 109 smooth red sandstone. We'll just need one chiseled red sandstone. We'll need 123 smooth red sandstone slabs for our roof. 10 dark oak logs, 6 glass panes, 6 dark oak stairs, 2 dark oak fences, 2 dark oak pressure plates. We'll need 4 flower pots, uh, 4 dandelions, or a flower of your choice, 2 chests, there are going to be two chest, separate chests for uh, two sections of that large house. Five lanterns, an oak door, and some have asked, why am I using an oak door? It's just easier to see through, but I guess since the mesa has the dark oak wood, you might want to go with the dark oak door. However, it looks a little, a little too much, too formal, so that's why I'm going with the oak door in case uh, those of you that have asked me about it. 17 dark oak buttons, eight torches, and you're going to need four beds. The color, of course, is your choosing. Okay, first you're going to need to pick yourself a spot, of course. Uh, we're going to go, this will be the front entrance of the house. We're going to have it face the other sections of the other the, the builds that we've done so far. I'm putting it back in here. Now, the front of this is going to be 13 wide, so we'll go, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Come over to the side. We're going to go back 12. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now we'll come to the back of the house and we'll go over 7. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Come to the inside. We're going to go 4. That's 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we're going to leave this intentionally blank at the moment. Uh, we're going to fill that in with the orange terracotta a little bit later. So for this side, we're going to come over 6. So that's 1, two, three, four, five, six, and then just bring it all the way up to the front. Now on the inside, as I mentioned, we're going to be using orange terracotta as our border. So just put a border all the way around. Now we'll put in our dark oak planks. We're pretty much going to fill it up almost all the way with dark oak planks, with the exception of four. And our yellow glazed terracotta is going to go in here. There's the pattern I'm going to use. I have like a little sun spot in the middle. And we'll put in our cobblestone stair, the third block over from our front here. And that should be your foundation complete. Okay, before we move on to our cut red sandstone, I misplaced or I put the stair in the wrong spot. We want to go over one more block to this one there. So it'll be the fourth one over, not the third. Because now we're going to use our cut red sandstone and we're going to go up on the corners. I'm just going to give it a start to show exactly where they're going to be at. And then we're going to go up five blocks on each and every one of those. So come to the corners. Here, here, here. And with each one of those spots that you see right there, because this is going to be the door frame. So we'll put one on each side. We're going to go up five blocks on each and every one of those. Be right back. Okay, now that you've got five on each one of those, for those columns, we're going to come and use our only chiseled red sandstone. We're going to put it right here at that fourth, spot, fourth block up. Then we're going to use a smooth red sandstone. 
here. We're also going to put three along here. One, two, three, actually four. And then what we're going to be doing all the way around is the bottom section is going to have smooth red sandstone and also that fourth block up also. So we'll go all the way around with that. Now the back sections back here is just going to be all smooth red sandstone. Now if we're facing the house, on the left side we're going to do a double window. So we're going to put a border around it first, just like that. Then we're going to use a sorry, dark, oak, dark oak planks will go to the top. We're going to use our dark oak logs on each side. And then we'll take a window, two window panes and put them right in there. On this side, we're going to do two borders here. And then we're going to take our dark oak planks around the top. One dark oak log here and here. And a window pane in the middle. On the right side of the house, take our smooth red sandstone, do a border here, a border at the other end. Then we're going to take our dark oak log here three planks. This is so you can find the middle. And our glass plane. So I've done four blocks of the smooth red sandstone. And over here we'll do the same thing like we did on that window. We'll take three planks, one log here, one log here, and a glass pane in the middle. On the back side we'll do ourselves again. Once again a smooth red sandstone border here and here. And then we'll take our dark oak planks, run across, a log there, a log here, and then a glass pane. That should take care of the windows. Next step is we'll be putting in our roof. We're going to use all of the smooth red sandstone slabs in here. We won't have to worry about spawns there, but we will in the corners, as we always, as I always mentioned. So we're going to go ahead and light that up here shortly. That'll take care of the roof. Now we'll go to the inside of the house. We'll come to the back section over here and we're gonna go back two blocks from that center. You see the are lined up at the window. Go back two blocks. That's one, two. Add yourself a lantern, go over, skip two blocks, another lantern, skip two blocks, add another lantern. Now we'll come to the door frame. We'll skip one block, add a lantern there. Skip two blocks, add another lantern. This will actually uh, provide enough light inside the home or the large house. And I think there's only one or two blocks where the light levels reach eight. So you won't have to worry about it, even on older versions. Now we're going to add in our, let's add a chair over here for them. A chair on this side. It's right in front of these, the left side, of the left and right of the window. Then we're going to add in a, a table in here, a double wide table for them. We're gonna add a chest right in front of that window, a chest in front of that window. We're gonna break out our beds and put a bed on each side. Then we're gonna grab our, our stairs. We're gonna go where they're facing up just like that so they have like another little nightstand. And we're gonna put ourselves a flower pot on each one of those with whatever flower you chose. And then we add our door from the inside. And last thing, we're going to add are the buttons and the torches. The buttons, of course, to keep it in the Adobe type of feel. We'll put our buttons over top of the windows. And I do my best to keep all of these builds in the Minecraft Villager type of theme. And then of course our torches, put one above the door and one above this window here. Then we gotta put some up top because uh, it doesn't matter which version you're playing on. You gotta have at least a little bit of light even if the newer, even in the newer version. Uh, on the older versions, you wanna make sure you have enough light up here 
so you don't get any spawns. The half slabs, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you're not going to get any spawns in those half slabs, but the other upper blocks, the full blocks, you could get some. So that is going to do it for the large house. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this week's What If the Mesa Had a Village build tutorial uh, for this week's build. So if you like this video, click that like button. If you want to subscribe for past or future videos, click that subscribe button. It really helps me and lets me know I provide great quality content for you guys each and every week. So until next week's video, we'll see you then, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.